tonight. Stay away. That is the word from the head of the DMV as the agency plans to reopen tomorrow after a week-long shutdown to install a brand new computer system. But the DMV commissioner says the learning curve is expected to be slow and long lines and waiting for hours is expected as well. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis says you're back on what the new DMV service means for you. Mark. Hi, Ann and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, at the DMV, they say when this was done in other states, wait times in the hours were common. Officials at the DMV are crossing their fingers and hoping for the best when offices across the state reopened Tuesday morning at 7.45 a.m. after the week-long shutdown. The commissioner today issuing this plea. I strongly urge people to avoid coming to the DMV for a few weeks unless they really need to do it. The new online computer system was completed over the weekend, and since Saturday night, more than 500 people have successfully renewed or terminated a registration, ordered a special plate, or reprinted a registration. These are some of the new services you can now do online yourself, including checking to see if you have an outstanding parking ticket or other infraction. But they know that Tuesday could turn into a nightmare when full service resumes at all offices. There is going to be a learning curve for everyone, staff and the public, as a new system is put into place and real-time use is available. That's why the agency is reminding everyone that registrations and driver's licenses scheduled to expire this week have all been extended until October 10th to accommodate the big transition. The lines are expected to be very long and waits could be several hours. Long waits have been the routine at other states where DMV offices have upgraded their computer systems. Now, speaker, there is Andre Ayalas of Bridgeport, the new DMV commissioner. Uh, we're told that there will be greeters at all the DMV offices, like at Walmart, and they'll all have iPads like this one uh, so they can help you uh, get through this transition. And they'll continue to do that, of course, all during the transition. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.